long time no see. So I'm heading to Croatia today um, for a sailing trip actually. I'm getting my uh, day skipper license at a yacht school in Croatia. <sighs> I'm at the airport right now. I got a little bit scammed because I went through the security check and then it said it takes 40 minutes to go to the gate, to walk to the gate. And there was only 15 minutes until boarding started. So I started running and running. But I think it was because you had to go through like passport control. Now I'm lost. Ah, oh, here we are. But there was no line at the passport control. So all good. We're at the gate now. Just waiting to board the flight. And uh, here's the boat we're gonna be sailing. It's a Salona 44. And let me give you guys a little tour. Here's two of the crew. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Galley. <coughs> Two aft cabins, one had here, a chart table, a saloon, seating area, um, two bunk beds right here, and a forward cabin. We started the course by a safety briefing, going through the safety systems in case of a fire, gas leak or water leak on board. We also learned how to check the engine using the WOBBLE acronym. I booked the trip with two of my friends, meaning we had two randoms joining us plus the instructor. We researched a few RIA certified sailing schools in Greece and Croatia, but ultimately settled for Whitewake Sailing School based in Primorstan, Croatia. We were drawn to this school thanks to the location, easy to navigate website and booking, and testimonies from previous students. Croatia is a beautiful location for sailing, with many islands, predictable winds, and since it wasn't high season yet, it was not too crowded. Marina Kremik, where the boat we would be sailing was docked at, had space for over 400 boats. Luckily, we didn't have to do any maneuvers here on the first day, but perhaps at the end of the week, we would have built enough confidence to successfully dock the boat here. So we just finished the first day of sailing. Uh, we left at about 9.30, but before that we did a few um, um, exercises. Uh, we went through the different names of the parts of the boat and we learned how to uh, dock, like what lines we need and how to uh, tie onto the different types of docks. Um, then we did um, some sailing uh, north from Primorstan and now we are at this anchorage uh, or we actually moored and uh, we had about um, 15 knots of wind um, and along the way we also did a few um, stops where we practiced uh, docking so that was really nice um, and after that we just took a swim and uh, probably gonna make some food soon so looking forward to that because we haven't eaten much this uh, much yet and it's now about 4 p.m but yeah it's absolutely beautiful and the boat sails beautifully as well it's, it's a it's a former race boat so um, yeah excited for tomorrow and the rest of the week
so it's the next day and um, we just left the anchorage and sailed to a close by city to do some maneuvers, maneuvers and um, docking practice uh, but when we were close we realized that there was water in the kitchen and there's a fresh water pipe that's leaking um, so we just had to kind of circle around and try to fix that um, so it's uh, Tuesday currently and we sailed to Ros Ros Rogonica yesterday uh, we're at the marina the local marina here but today we had like gusts up to 30 knots and our instructor said that the gusts are more like the like more like the accurate wind speed over here so we decided to not go out because it would be difficult to uh, to dock again afterwards um, we have two of the crew leaving the boat tonight so after this it will just be um, me my two friends and the instructor for the rest of the trip and uh, yeah we've just been doing theory today we did a passage plan we went through um, like the life raft flares uh, a little bit of uh, revising about like how to check your boat before leaving um, both uh, below deck and on deck after that we did some more uh, theory we <coughs> went over the rules of the road and uh, yeah now it's about 4 p.m. and in the evening we'll probably maybe go for a swim because uh, it's still been really hot today like 30 degrees and I also have to do some studying for my exam that's coming up next week. So yeah, talk to you guys in a bit. Hello, it's um, Thursday now, our second to last day on the boat. Uh, yesterday I didn't really do any filming because it was pretty intense. We had like 30 knot winds uh, or gusts up to 30 knots. And we were sailing from Rogosnitka where we were on the pontoon to Trogir, which is like a, an old medieval, medieval town. We yesterday night went into the city center, it was beautiful. So we're out now and so far today we practiced some docking, uh, man overboard. In this bay over here, it's the Trogir Bay, yes, I guess. And we're gonna go to an anchorage where we're gonna spend a few hours before we're gonna do our night sail we made it to anchorage i'm gonna show you guys a little bit and we went for a swim now i'm preparing some burritos and before we leave for the night a sail since I couldn't film any of the night passage because it was dark, I'm just going to tell you about it while you watch us fail at tacking. Already the day before, we had to successfully plan a night passage according to a start and an end location given to us by the instructor. We had already made an individual passage plan earlier during the week, so me and the other dayskipper decided to cooperate on this one. During the night sail, you're not allowed to use plotters or phones. It has to be done completely by figuring out your position, by taking bearings with a compass. It was a lot more fun than I anticipated, because there was constantly something to do. Scouting for sea marks, surrounding boat traffic, and adjusting the heading. I would say we did pretty well. Our instructor just had to correct us once when we were going too close to a lighthouse for her liking. The most difficult part of the night passage was probably trying to moor in complete darkness in the middle of a bunch of other sailboats. We had one person on the bow with a torch, constantly shining a light on the morning ball, so that we could successfully maneuver towards it. Now it was time for a beer and a well-deserved night of rest before the last day of the course began. So we just finished the course and we're back in the marina where we started from and you're looking at two 
uh, new day skippers. Uh, we successfully got the certificate, which is nice. Um, you're supposed to have undergo like a continuous assessment during the week so that at the end of the week it shouldn't be a surprise whether you you know obtain the certificate or not but we got to pretty much do everything um, would have wished for a little bit more sailing perhaps but we had some um, nasty weather for a couple of days which basically took two sailing days uh, of the week and today there was no wind at all so we can't really do much about that but overall uh, it was a great week very exhausting constantly like learning new things and having to stay focused um, with both sailing and then theory during the evening or the afternoons when you're not sailing um, yeah.